So here we are now, week seven, I think this is, of our stay-at-home directive from our governor here in California, Governor Newsom. And I got to thinking this could be a good time, or is a good time, to take care of some of those nagging little fix-it chores that needle us, things that need to get done. I've had one in particular in mind, so I ordered a part for it. So it's from my car. And I'm going to sort of call this an unboxing, but it's more like an un enveloping. <laughs> and there are two of them in here. I need scissors. I'll show you what I got. It doesn't, um, doesn't amount to much, but it's important. And I'll explain that when we go outside to work on the car. Okay, so what have I got here? Nothing else in there. Packing slip. Genuine Nissan. They call it Nissan in England. Parts. There it is. Stapled. Open the staple up. Ah, just tear it apart. Who cares? Tear it open. Who cares? That's it. That's it. It's a little rubber boot. It doesn't seem like much. And I ordered a second one because I think I need to do, I might need to do both of them. I might, might need to replace, uh, replace both. So um, next step, let's go outside and start doing this little fix-it chore. So here's the problem right here. I'll zoom in there for you. And you can see I fixed that with a bit of blue tape. As I'm replacing that part, I'll explain to you the reason why. So I'll pull some of this tape off here. And here's the problem with it. Okay, what this is, is this is a boot that protects a switch in there. When the door closes, it pushes on the switch and that breaks the connection that turns the lights off in my car. So what happened was this thing here that I've temporarily glued, and it's actually holding really tight, um, it would break off. It's actually working pretty well. Maybe I don't need to replace it. But since I'm here, I might as well. It would fall off. And then because it was lacking the thickness of this cap, it wouldn't close in this case, open the switch all the way, and therefore my light would stay on. I wouldn't realize it because it was bright daytime. And the next time I go to use my car, it wouldn't start. So it's easily replaced. One screw, probably a washer, or is it all part of it? It's all part of it. I can get that out of there. There it is, one screw. And then this should just pull off pretty easily. And there's the switch right there. And I'm gonna have to work on getting that out of there probably. There it is. And what well, that glue held really tight. So there it is. See, there's the glue. That worked. Okay. Same part. Gonna put the boot on. And there's a flange that goes all the way around it keep the water out because water does come down through here when it rains. Okay, the flange looks good all the way around. Put it back in place. Where's the screw? The screw is right here. And now it's on the ground. Uh, screw is in place. I mean, this is not a really difficult fix. 
but it's a critical fix because if I don't then as I said my battery wears down and I go to use my car and I can't use it I got to put the battery charger on there and charge it up for two or three hours all right I'm going to go check the other side and see if the other door uh, if that switch is dried out and breaking up as well so there it is a simple but I would consider it a critical fix because as I said in that when I was doing that video or doing that repair the battery would run down if I didn't carefully make sure that that switch would open and turn the lights off whenever I use the car which by the way isn't very often my car is a 1993 Nissan or Nissan Pathfinder and it has fewer than 70,000 miles on it seriously those that's original miles that the, the odometer never turned over I don't drive I get a discount on my auto insurance because I drive so seldom I never drive so I shouldn't say never but put on three four thousand miles a year I only fill the tank up like once every other month or once every three months he said filling his own tank I did check the other side I said I would the other side the, the rubber boot seemed fine it, drying out a little bit but at least not cracking so I got a spare that's why I ordered two they're not that expensive I can keep a spare and then if I need to replace one down the line I've got it so um, again it's a simple fix but one that's been nagging at me I knew I had to get it done sooner or later and since I'm stuck at home I can't go anywhere or I don't I don't go anywhere um, I might as well get it fixed take care of it so if you um, enjoyed watching this video fine <laughs> if not st stay we'll come back because um, I think my next video is going to be political I like to do those once in a while and it always riles some people up and I don't care I don't care I don't make any money from this this YouTube channel this is just my fun channel and if riling a few people up is fun I'm getting my money's worth out of it. It doesn't cost me anything to do these videos. I just sit in my kitchen and talk. So other than paying the electricity to run my studio lights, and those are all LEDs now, so they're they're inexpensive to, to light. So anyways, the next video I'm going to get political. I'm going to talk about a book that I'm starting to read, David Ploff's um, latest book, A Citizen's Guide to... Uh, getting rid of Donald Trump something like that voting out Donald Trump uh, I'll show you the book when I do that video um, but so far uh, I've only read a little bit of it I like the book I like the way he writes I like his writing style so um, I'm going to talk about that book and I may actually do a series of videos uh, down the line pretty soon I think we're going to start opening up California we're still under lockdown I shouldn't say lockdown but under this directive to stay at home some states are already opening up their economies we're not doing that yet we were the first I think the first state in California to impose this stay at home directive and we may be one of the last to relax it because it's working here it's working this I've even been checking Santa Barbara uh, County and little by little there are a few people that are testing positive I think the last couple of weeks only three new people three or four new people tested positive maybe only two it wasn't very much and I've been looking at the graph as far as how many people are in the hospital or at home recovering I don't track the people who have already recovered I want to know how many people are out there sick and possibly going to Costco uh, it's it started going down between yesterday and today and actually today is only Tuesday but you'll probably see this video on Thursday or Friday uh, it's been going down it leveled off again but hopefully it'll keep going down so anyways thanks for watching uh, hopefully you enjoyed this little excursion outdoors uh, to uh, watch me fix my car <laughs> it's such a silly little fix but like I said it was critical it was critical so thanks for watching stay safe stay um socially distanced from other people and stay healthy.